Welcome back, everybody. It is 624, and foodies live for this weekend in western New York. The annual Taste of Buffalo is back in Niagara Square all weekend long. It's the nation's largest two-day food festival. 40 restaurants, beer, wineries, food trucks, all lining Delaware and Niagara Square. And Dayworks Heather Lee is live there this morning with one of Buffalo's most famous chefs with more on what we can expect this year. Good morning, Heather. Hey there, Melissa. Good morning. One of the other things that is new this year, there is a community tent. It's going to be located right outside of City Hall. It is a place for the community to gather, share a meal together, exchange some stories, meet some new people. This is a familiar face. He's not new to us. Chef Darian Bryan from the Plating Society is going to be doing cooking demonstrations all weekend long on the culinary stage located in the New Era parking lot along Delaware. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me again. It smells absolutely amazing. Talk to us about what we're making here this morning and you said this is something that even I can make at home. Real simple. You have all these ingredients at home where you can go to Tops and get all of them, you know what I mean? So I got a grilled steak and so western salad, got some corn, some grapes, some avocado, some lime juice, all those salt west flavors. And on the steak I got some salt and pepper, some coriander and some cumin. Real simple. Very simple. And what is the key to making the steak just right? You've got the grill pan here, but you can do it at the on the grill at home. On the grill at home or in a regular pan, but it's, it's, it's up to your preference. How do you like your steak cook? I'm a well done person. I know that's not very popular. <laughs> I know he's about to fall over <laughs> over here, but you know what? I can be convinced if it if it is cooked properly. And I, I, I mean, think if, this looks like a beauty. A, if it's a good steak too, I, I can probably get it to a medium okay. because most of my like NFL players is the same way too. They're like, they're like, well done. I'm like, no, can you try medium for me, please? Just yeah. try medium. What is the key to getting it just right? Well, you got to know the technique. Like, you got to be feeling it. Like, you know, this right here is like, you know, medium rare. This is more like medium. So you're going to take it out and let it rest and try not to flip it too much. Don't just move. Let, yeah. Just, yeah, just because you're beating up the steak too much. You know what I mean? You just like let the meat so rest and so the juice can go back where it comes from to get a nice delicious steak. So when it has a little bit of that bounce, you know, it maybe needs just a little bit more and as it's a little bit more firm to the touch, it, it, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting to more of your liking, though. You know, the well, <laughs> medium well is. <laughs> All right, very quickly, when are you going to be uh, giving your demonstrations this weekend? So I'll be at 130 both days. I would do a meet and greet too. Let's come and take some pictures with me, some selfie posts on my Instagram and Facebook, you know what I mean? It's going to be a good time. Yeah, and of course, he's one of the best dressed chefs here in Buffalo, not only only one of the best, but he is style and profile and you can come check out what he's got to offer. Also snap a few pictures this weekend. Taste of Buffalo 11 to 9 tomorrow, 11 till 7 on Sunday. We've got more details waiting for you at WGRZ.com. And Melissa, I think I might give this a shot over here. It's not well done. <laughs> But it is pretty beautiful. It is perfectly done. That's what it is. Better than well done. Perfectly done. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Chef Darian Heatherly, thank you so much for that live report. I, my mouth is watering right now, for sure.